morning everyone it is October the 24th at uh, 141 142 uh, and we're gonna uh, continue the God School series uh, as we're driving down the road just feel like right now is the time to uh, do it so I may not be looking at the camera which is a good thing <clears throat> uh, but we experienced something on Friday uh, as we were spending time together me and Michelle my lovely beautiful bride here with me uh, we had decided to uh, go to the mountains in uh, Tennessee, and the way we were uh, going is by the way of, what's the name of that skyway? Cherahala? Cherahala Skyway. Uh, skyway, which is part of that... Uh, Tell of the Dragon. Tell of the Dragon, real curvy roads, yeah. but puts you up in the mountain, you know, several thousand feet. I think the highest peak is about 5,300. 5, yeah. You know, about 5,300, something yeah. like that. Um, but uh, we got delayed a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, when we got delayed, uh, it made us be able to uh, stop at an overlook uh, there oh gosh this, this was probably 45 4700 feet yeah. up so yeah. we're, we're not all the way to the top but no. nevertheless we got delayed we got up to this overlook, uh, and, and uh, there is a girl sitting on top of a truck. Yeah, there's a girl <laughs> on top of a truck, like on the cab of a truck. Mm -hmm. So that got our attention. So I kind of went over there, and Michelle was taking some pictures. And uh, figured out real quick what was going on. Somebody had locked their keys in the vehicle. Yep. And there's 823 right there, baby. Uh, and this young lady was trying to unlock the vehicle, and there was this uh, older lady. Huh? There's a 108 right there, baby, hmm. in front of us. 108 is God's story for us to tell about our relationship with him and each other and what happened on our wedding day uh, so if you want to go back and look at that check, video that's check that out. that's that's a good one to look at um okay so this lady was on the side of the vehicle that i walked up on and i was just kind of seeing what they were doing and they happened to ask us if we have a coat hanger, and we had actually had a wire coat hanger, so we supplied that, and they were trying to get it unlocked with that at the same time of what the girl had as this well. This young girl was not with them, but she had showed up as well and had a metal yardstick. Yeah, it was like a metal yardstick. yardstick. So, and she, they were using that to try to see if they could get the door open as well. And, and it was... And it was interesting, there was, there was uh, not just us and that girl, but there was probably four or five oh, other yeah. people oh, trying yeah. to help this couple. Motorcycle or, people that were there, and another people that were in a, a van, a truck, or whatever else, there were people everywhere. Right. So, <clears throat> the lady uh, that was standing beside me as I was look, looking into the window of the truck to see how it was going. She was talking about her faith. She said, I got faith that they'll get it open. No, I've got faith. You know, and and I, and I didn't say anything, which I wouldn't have reason to say anything. 
and it wasn't but a few more minutes. She said, my husband's got the patience of Joe. You know, and, and, <laughs> and we just say something about faint just now, and there's a vehicle that's going that we're starting to pass that has 848 on it, uh, which is all about faith. Yeah. <clears throat> that, that verse, uh, Luke 848. <clears throat> If you want to look at look that up, um, but anyway, she is she she portrayed herself and her husband as having strong lot, lots of faith or strong, strong faith. And when she said that about Job, about uh, her husband, about her husband, I said, "Ma'am, you seem to have a strong faith." And we get into a conversation. She says, yes, I do. Okay. I, I don't remember exactly what all was said, so my wife will help interject here. <laughs> <coughs> uh, she said, yes, sir. yes, she does. So I said, do you mind explaining that to me? And I asked her, I said, what, was, what is the most intimate thing or you know how God spoke to you about something that has happened in your life. Well, her first reaction was, well, how can you not? Because we're standing on the side of the mountain at this overlook. And she's like, how can you How can you not believe in God or in anything that he does? Because of looking out across this beautiful mountains that we're looking at, that the fall colors are starting to turn. You've got just a display of color out here and it's just absolutely gorgeous and so she's like well how can you not and that's the whole reason that we were there is to look at the fall just color. to enjoy the drive just drive just, and enjoy everything you know, just, just a weekend of being able to spend time together and enjoy god's beauty mm -hmm. you know like psalms 19 1 says about know, god's artwork it's god's artwork exactly so that was her first answer, and so Melvin asked for her to, you know, what you were saying to kind of talk about a more specific in her life. So then she goes into uh, a situation uh, that uh, happened to her daughter three years uh, three years ago. I think in August, uh, three years ago, that she has battled for three years at this point. Yes. Very, <laughs> and, very much. And and her and what it is is uh, her daughter committed suicide, and she got there seven minutes after she had died. <clears throat> and and I and I and the you know the emotions that she was having in telling this, you could tell that it was just still very overwhelming right. to her. You know, like it just happened that day or the yeah, day before. Was, you know, just I mean, recent. it took her right back yeah. immediately, absolutely, to where she was. You know. Uh, the day it happened. Could not imagine. That's a traumatic. Could not imagine that. You know, losing you know, a child to and, that. And I agree. I've never experienced that. Right. Nor do I want to. No, not at all. <clears throat> but you know, as we continued to talk to her, she said some things that make is the reason that we're making this video right now. The reason that we're making this video is because of one of the things that she had said was that uh, in telling about how she's dealt with this is that she has separated God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit out as Three several uh, as separate. Uh, entities are people right. which is true to an extent 
but she said this that is very very different than I've ever heard anybody say she said she can talk to God about what happened to her daughter but she can't talk to Jesus about what happened to her daughter or what she's going through in her grieving in her grief process because of what Jesus did to her or did for her on the cross which makes absolutely no sense because of the fact of Jesus was here on earth and suffered what all he suffered he knew he knows all about suffering so my question to Melvin earlier was why wouldn't she go to Jesus who knows all about suffering Absolutely. why would you not go to him and tell him you're suffering since he understands it right he's supposed to be our intercessor to anything that we need we're supposed to go to him you know and, and I'm sitting here looking right now at a vehicle that's we're coming up on is at 6 68 John 6 68 says where else are we supposed to go well, Peter but, said, yeah. but Peter said this where else are we supposed to go except for, him, for, for Jesus. you Jesus yeah. you have eternal life right you know so she's breaking it down and saying she can go and talk to to God about this but scripture says that Jesus is the way the truth and the life only way to the father is through him so that's right. It's not possible to just go to God and not talk to Jesus about what you're suffering because he is the one that is a go-between in order to get to God. Exactly right. <coughs> you know, and I'm going, that's not biblically correct when she said it, but with the situation that's going on, there's... <coughs> I didn't feel like that was my place to engage her about the suffering that she's going through. And, and well, Michelle and I tried our best to encourage her. Absolutely. Uh, well, and the thing that, that concerned me the most was you had asked her about, you know, how has her relationship been since the accident? Has it strengthened? Or is it weakened? And she said, neither. It hasn't done it. It hasn't grown and it hasn't grown apart. So my question was, is, or my statement to her was, you're stuck. And she said, absolutely, she's stuck. She's stuck. And here's the reason that she's stuck. And this just came to me just now. Uh, here's the reason she's stuck. She's going to the wrong one. She's not going through Jesus She's not going to get through to God. Jesus to get to God. And that's where our our issues lie in our lives every single day is that we try to skip the most important step. <coughs> you know. Well, I mean, doesn't Scripture say when he, when, he, when Jesus said he was sending a sending a comforter? Right. So you know, she would have to go to Jesus in order to get the comfort. <coughs> to get to the comforter. And you have to go to the Holy Spirit now right. that Jesus is not walking on earth. You know, Jesus had to die for this reason. He, he had to die because he could physically, in a human body, only be in one place at one time. Okay? Right. While walking on earth as a human being. Right. Okay? Even though he had the ability to do unlimited power. Unlimited power. Just like God. He couldn't he couldn't physically as a man. As a man be in more than one place at one time. Correct. Okay? So the Holy he had to die to be able to have the Holy Spirit come Which is and and give comfort to everyone at one time. Everywhere. You know? Multiple and, places. And that's hard for people to understand sometimes is that that's, that's the reason not only for Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, but he had to die 
so that the Holy Spirit could come and dwell on earth. Because right. in the Old Testament, before Jesus came, the Holy Spirit would only come to certain people and only be there for a certain amount of time, and then it's gone. Right. Okay? <clears throat> but now, after Christ died, He's here all the time. Yep. He's with every believer all the time. But she never said anything about the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit Not for one he, single word. The only thing she said was she couldn't talk to Christ about it, to Jesus about it, but she can talk to God. And she completely left out the Holy, the Spirit. Holy Spirit. Never mentioned the Holy Spirit again. No, uh, except for the part where she broke them, all, separated them all through a part. Right. That was uh, the only other part. Than, other than that, she never mentioned Nothing. the Holy Spirit. Correct. Ever again in our conversation. You know, yeah. the only one that she ever spoke about after that was God. Yeah, because that was who she would <clears throat> should talk to. You know, so you know the lesson here in in us meeting and there's six forty five right here. Hmm. <laughs> they will That's all fair. be taught by God. <clears throat> Everyone that comes. Oh um, goodness, wait, wait, wait Blake. <laughs> Try it again. Okay. How about I just look this one up? Okay. I don't want to mess this one up because this was a very important one. Don't want to screw this one up. John 6. Because it goes along with what we're talking about. 45 says, As it is written in the scriptures, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from Him comes to me. That's right. Me being Jesus. Jesus. So, you can't leave out... Jesus and the Holy Spirit if you're if you are a true believer yep. okay it's not possible the scriptures tell you that they are part of of your everyday life you know the Holy Spirit guides you don't do this do yep. this don't do this do, do this all, all day long and we don't listen to the Holy Spirit, you know, and when we have an issue or a praise, we have to go to Jesus and 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 God at the same time. You go to Jesus and you get to God through through Jesus. So you have to be careful of not taking only one of the three parts that is very important in our relationship with with uh, the Godhead, which is God. You can't leave out the Holy Spirit. You can't leave out Jesus. You've got to have all of it together to be able to know the will of the Father. <clears throat> the, the Holy Spirit tells you the will of the Father based on what you're thinking and, and what you're doing, you know, because the Holy Spirit will guide you if you allow Him to guide you on a daily basis, you know, so <clears throat> I guess that's about all I've got. I just felt like that God is just hammering Michelle and I about this uh, today and that he wants people to understand that you've got to go to Jesus <clears throat> with your problems. Yeah. You know, uh, and your praises. You can't leave Jesus out of the equation. Yeah. You know, otherwise, there's not a relationship. Well, you, and one thing I had said earlier was that, um, you know, you had mentioned Judas, you know, and the physically walking with Jesus, you know, but he didn't have the relationship. Oh, yeah. You know, he was physically with him. He was. But he didn't have the relationship. No. And that's a, that's a lot of the problem is the fact that you have to have that relationship with Jesus Christ in Absolutely. order to get to the Father, but also to have the Holy Spirit. So so what you're saying is is that he knew Jesus. Physically. Oh, yeah. Physically. He knew him. Oh absolutely. He, he knew who he was, but 
he didn't he didn't stick with Jesus. He turned his back on Jesus in the end. But it's like that, he he, knew, he a, knew about Jesus. Okay, Eric, okay. Who doesn't know about Jesus? <clears throat> you hear about him. Oh, I know about him. Right. But do you know him? But, but do you have the relationship with Jesus in but, order to get see, to the Father and have that, the Holy Spirit dwelling in you? That example that you just brought up is a is an example of <clears throat> the same thing that Miss Joyce is doing. Okay. And that is it's a falling away of the truth. Okay? Jesus was the truth. Jesus, Jesus, Judas knew Jesus personally. He walked with him for three and a half years. He knew who he was. He knew exactly who he was. But he allowed Satan to come in and he be betrayed Jesus. That is, a, that is an, a perfect example of falling away as a believer. He believed Jesus. But, you know, but, but at the but same time, is she away. not betraying Jesus and, she's a, and, and she's neglecting betray, him? She's betraying Jesus in the same manner by falling away from the reality and what the Bible says. And the truth. The truth. What, is, what does John 14, 6 say? I am the way, the truth, and life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. That's right. You can't, in other words, you can't forget about Jesus and expect to get to, to the Father. To get to the Father, it's not possible. It's not happen. You know, and that is, it is in that red is letters. that little bitty <laughs> twist that Satan allow uh, or God allows in people's lives that make people fall away from who Jesus is mm -hmm. and. <laughs> oh, that didn't work well. Hold on, guys. I don't want to see where we're going. Sorry about that. <laughs> we're still recording, though. <gasps> Technical difficulty. Traffic. We're blaming it on the traffic here. So, anyway. I think this... This may be a, a good time to end because we're in stop and go traffic. Stop and, and go, stop and go. And our uh, camera situation is not cooperating very well with us. Um, but just wanted to, to touch base and and show people that there is there is a living God and we have to trust Him. But we also have to have the relationship with Jesus to get to the Father. Absolutely. And you have to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit as well. You know, that comforter. You've got to have all three parts involved in your life. You can't do it by just one. No. You know? They're not just it's, one. It's, they are one, but they're separate. And they have different functions correct but you can't do one without the other you can't you gotta have jesus first and then the holy spirit comes upon you and that guides you to into the, what you're supposed to do on a daily basis and that they lead you to the to the to relationship with the father will lead you to relationship with both jesus and the father mm -hmm. you know and you know i think a lot of people miss this and I think it's so important. You know, God gave us a an example to be able to share with you guys of someone that has lost reality in who Jesus is. Well, the you first know? thing that I realized was is she portrayed this strong faith, but when you got down in the depth of her... There was no faith. There was... She she she's at a point in her life that she had rather die and be with her daughter than to live. Yep. You know, and that's where Satan allows 
us to be misled into thinking that we're in a good place with God, right? But we're not in a good place with Jesus, mm -hmm. you know. And when that happens, you lose that sense of uh, uh, reality of who Jesus really is and what He is was on this earth for. Right. You know. I'm going to end it right there. I think this is a perfect time to uh, end it. So, you got anything else, babe? I think we're good. No? Okay. Yeah. Guys, it's been fun. Uh, sorry for the camera <laughs> mishaps. But, uh, it happens. Know, we're just human and uh, it just kind of messes up sometimes. But we're doing and what we, we're supposed to do. And we roll with it, you know? That's all right. You know, like I'm looking at a car right now and there's slow traffic that we're driving in as a 917, you know, Romans 917 says that Michelle and I have been appointed for this very purpose to show God's glory and to show his purpose in our lives. You know, if you think for a second that it's, that it's a a happen chance or a, or coincidence. a coincidence that we met her oh, this lady yeah. on top of a mountain <laughs> and them locking their keys okay. in their vehicle you missed it all you missed you you missed what God had showed us mm -hmm. to be able to portray to you, you guys through this video Absolutely. even with the bad camera work you know, if you focus on that, you've missed what God oh, has yeah. just done. Oh, yeah. You know, so I'm going to end it right there. Okay. <laughs> That's all I got. See y'all later. See ya. Bye.